Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about Spring Data JP Hello World program. How exactly Spring Data is, is supported in Spring Framework? I've done a very simple code explain creating a row in the database table using Spring Data JP. I'll show you the uh, entity class first. So this is my hotel table entity class. Already I have created a table called hotel. And the main intent of Spring Data JP is to avoid boilerplate code. Okay, so I want to just show you an example for boilerplate code. Before Spring Framework, we were using a lot of code like this to insert a row in the database table. Or if you want to fetch some data from the database, fetch for some row from the database, you have to write so much of code, opening a connection, execute a query, and closing the connection in the final block. So this is this is known as a boilerplate code. One of the main goal of Spring Data JPA is to remove the boilerplate code. I just want to show you the repository. So how Spring is able to avoid such boilerplate code? This is my repository, hotel repository that I've created. It's an interface. I have I have extended from JP repository. JP repository is from the Spring framework if you see here. So basic CRUD operations they are supporting. I don't have to do anything else apart from extending from JP repository. That's all I have to do. Then what I'm trying to do here in the service layer is I am auto wiring my hotel repository interface. Okay, now when I run this Spring application, Spring is doing a lot of tasks behind the scene. That means they are generating a lot of code for us. I've just extended from JP repository. I don't have any implementation for saving, uh, updating, retrieving, deleting. I, I'm not. I've not done any code for that. So Spring is going to generate lot of code for all these methods I'll be showing these methods now if you see here these are the methods JP repository supports so this for these methods spring will generate the code when I run this program okay so I've just in the service class I've just auto wired my hotel repository and I have extended from the JP repository that's all I have done and in the spring java config file i have to enable these two main important annotations enable jp repositories and enable transaction management and here i have to give the uh, component scan the packages will be scanned by the spring framework and it will be automatically re registered as being in the spring container so this is the things i have done i have not done any code to persist the data in the database it's already done by the spring framework i'm going to run this code now then you will understand so let me start this so what are the benefits we are getting we don't it's like ready-made code we are getting we don't have to write manually all the code to persist the persist or retrieve rows from the database table so it's handy code i would say it's already available and it's very clean I don't have any uh, too much of code here so the, pro the application started I'm going to create a hotel here hotel object I'm setting all the values for a hotel then I'm going to call spring container to give me a service hotel service if you see this hotel service it's not a normal object it's a JDK proxy okay that means they're going to create spring is internally creating wrapper method and it will have begin transaction and if you see here we are having transaction annotation so so internally they are doing begin transaction and and commit transaction for us i don't have to bother about the transaction because i i'm using spring transaction support and here if you see the repository that has been injected by the spring framework is also a proxy object that means behind the scene they have generated code for save find one find all delete for all these methods they have generated spring has generated the code 
I have not written any code for that okay so if you see here this is the code I have written that's all I have written so it's going to save okay I'm going to show you in the table how exactly it is created a row if you see here one row has been inserted in the hotel table okay so because of this line of code or repository save our hotel object has been saved into the database so this is how spring data is helping us a lot to persist data in the database and we are we don't have any boilerplate code in our application so spring data's main goal is to remove boilerplate code from our application hope this video is useful thank you and all the best